So, you want a pug, or maybe you already have one and just want to learn more about these irresistible snort machines. If that's the case, then Pooh and I are going to do our best to teach you and prepare you for the pug life. Before we start, can you guys like the video and subscribe to my dad's channel? Thanks, Pua. All right, let's take a look at some of the things that you need to know about this loving, irresistible, and enigmatic breed. Our first topic might pop right out at you. They can have some pretty bulging eyeballs. Why does this matter? Well, dogs with shallow eye sockets can have a condition called proptosis. This basically means that they have bulging eyeballs. And with, with such big eyes, what can happen is they can get scratched or irritated or they can even pop out sometimes. It's important to avoid pulling on their facial skin too much. This means while you're out on a walk, I recommend a harness rather than a collar. Also, avoid irritating their eyes. This means try not to smoke inside and watch out when you're clipping their toenails so that part of the toenail doesn't fly up into their eye. Another thing you might want to do is check your pug's eyes for damage or irritation on the weekly. On to the next point, Pua, which is breathing. Pugs are brachiocephalic, also known as short-headed. This means that they can have a lot of difficulty when breathing. Try to avoid these things in order to keep your pups as comfortable as possible, flipping them on their back and holding them there. This can really make it a little bit more difficult for them to breathe and it can stress them out. Also, don't overfeed them. Try to keep them at their ideal weight. I mean, look how fit and trim Pua is. Basically a pug model. If your pug has severe symptoms associated with its breathing, surgery might also be another option. In this case, make sure you consult with a trusted and knowledgeable veterinarian. Also, before we move on, get ready for a lot of snoring. Let's talk about overheating and overactivity. It should be no surprise that pugs do not do well in extreme heat. This means that when the temperature is over 85 degrees outside, don't leave them outside for extended periods of time. Also, if it's above 60, do not leave them in your car for any period of time. Heat-related canine issues can happen extremely fast. This is because at a body temperature of around 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 40.5 degrees Celsius, the amount of oxygen needed goes up. And with the pug's breathing ability, that is not a good sign. You should also know the symptoms of heat-related canine issues. These symptoms are a dry mouth, nose, and gums, poor skin elasticity, fast, noisy breathing, excessive panting and drooling, sunken eyes, and disorientation or staggering. You must also be sure to guard these maniacs against overactivity because believe me, they will not guard themselves. Pua here will run around until his little pug heart can't pump anymore, just so he can keep up with the big dogs. The next topic we're gonna to welcome into the fold is wrinkle management. Problem wrinkles usually occur around the face or around the tail. Believe it or not, wrinkles can become infected and cause a load of other health issues. You should monitor and clean your dog's wrinkles almost every day, especially if you have an extremely wrinkly pug. It makes for a cute pug, but it's also a lot of work. When cleaning wrinkles, take a slightly damp cloth and rub in the affected areas. Afterward, make sure you dry them off. You can also use products such as Organic Wrinkle Balm. I put a link for this in the description below if you wanted to give it a try. Well, what do you think, Pua? Is that enough information for them? I think it's a good start, but they should definitely continue learning. Thanks, buddy. I can't agree more. So, if you want to learn more need to knows, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to know when I post again. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.